Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. <gasps> one. Nice. Okay, this one I'm gonna go. We're powerful. <sighs> okay, 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 watch this. That was mom's favorite frame. Wow, you're gonna be in so much trouble. Me, we were both playing. Yeah, but you threw it. Yeah, but how am I gonna tell her? I have an idea. Just pick it up and pretend nothing happened. Pretend nothing happened? She's gonna notice. Plus, that's wrong. You're right. I have a good idea. How about you tell her? It'll go so much better, I promise. Me? But I didn't do it. Yeah, but it'll go so much better. Let me know how it goes. Well, I'm sure you want to know how it went, and it wasn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm so glad my brother stepped in to help resolve the problem. What he did for me reminded me of what Jesus has done for us. You may have heard this before, but Jesus is our mediator, meaning that he stands in between us and God and brings us together. 1 Timothy 2.5 says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. You see, we were once in the presence of God and no mediator was needed, but then we messed up in sin. So we needed someone to step in and reunite that relationship with him. We needed someone perfect. We needed Jesus, the one who is perfect. He was on both sides, God and man. But the thing about Jesus is he doesn't have the same human flaws that we have. He never sinned, yet he got on the cross to bear our sins so that we could be in relationship with God. Jesus is the only way to God the Father. And since Jesus is God, we can go directly to him in prayer and surrender. So today, I thank God for sending Jesus to die on the cross to bear our sins so that we can be in relationship with him again.